everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, then I welcome you. If you love watching handbag videos and a little bit of this and that, then certainly hit the subscribe button. But let's go ahead and jump into this video. So in today's video, I wanted to come on and do a review of this bag right here. And I also wanted to show you all what fits in this bag. I felt like it was a good time to do this video because I've had this bag for about three months, y'all. So my husband did um, pick this bag up for me back in April. And right now on the Michael Kors website, at the time of me filming this video, this actual bag and color is still available and only for $69. So I do hope that if you had your eye on this bag, that this video is going to be helpful to you. But yeah, y'all, I have a lot to say about this bag. So let's go ahead and get on into it. To get started, the name of this bag is the Michael Kors Jet Set Large Safiano Crossbody Leather Bag in the color Carnation. Whew. That was a mouthful, but y'all know how Michael Kors is. He is notorious for having very long names for his handbags and even his SLGs too. <laughs> But, um, yeah, y'all, so like I was saying, my husband picked this bag up for me back in April, and what happened was, um, we were actually in the mall, right, and we had stopped into the Michael Kors store so that I can actually see what was new, and upon going into the store, I came across this new color, Carnation, and absolutely fell in love with it. Now, this bag right here I thought was super duper cute, and I had always admired this style bag, but for some reason I would always just gravitate to other things when I went into the store. So the same thing happened, y'all. I saw this bag, and then I also saw the, I think it was like a Jet Set tote in the um, carnation color as well, and I just like gravitated more to the tote. And my husband, he told me that I should really try out another silhouette that I don't typically gravitate to. So he is the one that encouraged me to get this bag, y'all. And I'm so glad that he did because this bag is so, so good. I've actually been able to comfortably use this bag as an everyday carry. But I find that it's even great um, to use as like a grab and go um, if you are going to be going out shopping for a while and you don't want to carry something that's going to be in the way, then I think that this is a great option for that. This bag is even great for like short um, outings out as well, you know, having to run errands. Because again, it is like compact enough to where it is out of the way, but at the same time, it is actually able to hold so much. So I cannot wait to show you guys what I have in Now, before I go ahead and go over the basics of this bag, I just want to show you all how I have this bag adorned because I really had so much fun dressing up this bag. So as you all can see here on the front, I have this very huge obnoxious pom on the front that I am just absolutely loving. I did recently get this pom-pom from Amazon so if it's still available I'll definitely link it below but I thought that it was such a cute little touch to the bag and it's kind of like a mauve like color too so it even goes very well with my Morella Carnation tote too that kind of has the ombre effect on it and then I did actually adorn her with this little chain here that I got recently from uh, Bath and Body Works also, if this is still um, available, I'll definitely link it below too. But I really like this charm, y'all. So actually, let me first take this one off here because I don't want it to be a distraction to the bag. So let's take her off. And actually, I'll even show you all a close-up too. One second. Okay, so just to show you a close-up, so I wanted to point something out to you on this palm. As you all can see, it does have this little... I guess faux leather like piece attaching the ring to the um to the palm and I really wish that it was the same color as the palm. I really really do. Um but I did want to point that out to you just in case you did pick this up and notice that that was a different color. But all in all, I do really still like this palm and it's very full, very big and full which I love that in a palm. 
And then I'll take this off here too so that I can show you all close up and personal. So right now, I know that this is actually available on the Bath & Body Works website for $14.95 on the website. And it is definitely worth it in my opinion. So the first thing here is this little um, heart charm here. It's actually a light, y'all. So if you can see, like if you push it, then it gives you like a little light. And I think that is just so cool. I love it, love it. And then it also comes with this pocket back holder too, which I think is absolutely gorgeous. And I do have my sanitizer in it. And then it also comes with a little whistle here too. Now, my little ones, Kyan and Kyra, they have been having fun with this whistle. But <laughs> if you were out and about walking by yourself and you needed to make some kind of noise to let somebody know that, you know, someone is coming up on you trying to like rush you or something, then you can blow this little whistle, right? But then you also have this safety tool too. So if you needed to use this as a weapon, yeah, here you go. <laughs> But it is so cute. It does have a little smiley face on it. With the safety tool too, you can even use it to like open doors too. So I really like this. This is really nice to have. So that is what's all on this little keychain here. Very, very nice. So getting back to the bag, y'all, to go ahead and go over it. As you can see, this bag really did not need any kind of adornment on it because it does come with this very nice chain that I absolutely love. And it really just elevates this bag in my opinion. Now, with that being said, though, this can be a con for some. If you do not like your bag to, like, make noise, then this probably isn't going to be the silhouette for you because as you walk, the chain does sway against the bag and make noise. But as you can hear, it is not terrible. Like, it's, it's not horrible at all. So that did not bother me at all. Also, too, as you can see, the branding is very minimum. So you do get the Michael Kors logo here on the front, as well as on the little pull tab. It says Michael Kors. So very, very minimum branding, which I absolutely love. Another thing that I love so much about this bag, y'all, is the organization. Michael Kors is known for having an amazing organization, and this bag is no different. So just on the outside alone, y'all, you get three exterior pockets. First one being this zipper right here. Second one being this one right here. And then the last one is this one on the back side. And as you can see, I am using it. <laughs> but I love the fact that it has the three exterior pockets on the outside. I use all three of them and they definitely came in handy. Now, with this back here too, y'all, as you can see, it does come with a nice long crossbody strap. And I really like this crossbody strap because I am able to shorten it in a way where I can wear it as a long shoulder bag. And for reference, I am five foot even. So I'll definitely go ahead and show you all how this bag looks on my frame. I really do wish though that the straps were detachable. And I am a girl that likes to have options, okay? So although I do like the strap that comes with the bag, I really wish that I could switch it up and use this strap here. This strap right here came off of my Morella toe in the carnation color. And as you all can see, it has the carnation leather tabs here. But I would love to be able to use this web strap on this bag as well. I have been contemplating on whether or not I want to like cut the straps completely off. But if I do that, then I think I might regret it. I think I might regret it just because I do also really, really like this strap. And it's very comfortable too. Like even though it's a thin strap, it's very comfortable. It definitely does take a lot of the weight off of the bag. So in that sense, I really like that too. Now one other thing that I want to point out to you all before getting into it and showing you what is inside is I want to point out how this bag is structured. With this being this Safiano leather material, I love it because it does make it more structured in a sense. So that can be a con for some because when first getting this bag, you do have to really break it in. So just to show you guys, when I unzip it and try to get items out, originally my hands would actually scrape the, um, the zipper here. 
it would actually scrape the little zipper tape here just because of it being so structured. But the more you use this bag, I assure you that it does soften up at the top. So as you can see, I'm able to actually pull it open like this. And it does actually stay open wide enough for you to be able to get your hand down in there without it scraping the little um, zipper tape there. So that's definitely something to consider too when you're getting this bag. But the reason why I love y'all that this bag is structured the way that it is, um, is because with this type of leather, as you can see with me opening it up like so, it does kind of give it that kind of like hump that most like camera bags get when you go in and out of it a lot. So I love this one though, because once I zip it up, that hump kind of goes away as you can see. So I really, really like that about this bag. As you can see, it's level and that hump is like, it, it goes away. Unlike, I did pull out one of my other camera bags that I have and I absolutely love this hand, handbag by the way, but I did want to point this out to you all. With my um, YSL camera bag, it is made of like a softer calfskin material and so with me using this bag and I'm pulling it like so to get in and out of it, it also has created this hump. But even when I zip this bag up, the hump is still there, as you can see. Like it's like a little, little hump hump. <laughs> so I did want to point that out um, as well. That's kind of what I mean by like the bag doesn't have that, that hump in it. All right, so getting back to this bag, y'all, I want to go ahead and show you all what I have in this bag so that you all can see how much this bag can hold because, again, like I said, it definitely did hold a good bit and I did utilize all of the space. So getting started with the zipper here on the front, the only thing that I pretty much kept in here were like more so flat items. I know, like, for example, I did have my Tylenol medicine in here. So I did put that in there and then I did have wet ones in here, which I did have to go in and out to grab, but it wasn't too terribly bad to get out. Um, this pocket though is on the tight side, so be mindful of that. So there's a wet one and I think I have another one here still. Yep. So I just had the two wet ones and the Tylenol in there. And again, as y'all can see, yeah, it's, it's very tight. It's not really given at all to um but when it comes to this pocket it is very like giving so i love like how wide that kind of opens there and in this part here i kept it free for my phone so like when i was out shopping if i needed to be hands-free i would actually just put my phone down in there and i actually have a samsung galaxy s24 ultra so I was actually able to put the phone upright and I was also able to lay my phone down um, inside of the pocket with the case on with no problem. So I really love that too about this pocket here. All right, and then getting into the back side, on the outside back pocket, I just had my Trident gum and then I also had my Clinic. So that's everything that I had on that back side. And again, this goes the length of the bag as well. Getting into the main compartment, I'll show you all how I have this bag packed. So again, I was pretty much able to carry all of my essentials in here with no issues. No cayenne. One moment, y'all. Let me get the baby out because y'all remember the last time he was in here and he ended up hiding my chargers, which I still have not been able to find, by the way. All right, one second, y'all. Okay, go, go. All right, he's gone. <laughs> All right, so getting back to it, y'all, this is how I have it packed. And as you can see, this bag on the inside just comes with one slip pocket which um, is pretty much all you need, in my opinion, when it comes to a camera bag. Um, because of the way that it's shaped, you know, I'm able to easily just put things in the bag without having too many pockets in the way. So the very first thing that I had in here, y'all, was my um, Champagne Toast Body Cream. Absolutely love this stuff. 
And then I had my fan in here along with the flashlight at the bottom. And then I also had my pepper spray. So all of the little safety things that I need is right here in the bag. And then the next thing that I had in here, y'all, is something that I am really trying to just be better at and using. And that is my CeraVe sunscreen. This is the SPF or it has SPF 50 in it. And I use this for my face as well as body. Right. And then the next thing that I had in here um, is my little pill container. And I'm just loving all the pink, y'all. Like, I just love to look down at my bag and see all of the pink goodies. It is just so good. <laughs> this here, y'all, is something that I came across when I was at my local Dollar Tree. Um, this is the LA Colors Lip Oil. And, y'all, I am really digging this. I really like this stuff. It a little bit definitely goes a long way. Um, and it is very moisturizing. Um, the next thing that I had in here is my little ink pen. I did pick this up from Shein a few years back. And then I also got this from Shein too, y'all. This is a double-sided mirror. I think this is such a cute little mirror. And all of the items that I am showing you all too, if they're available still on like Shein or even Amazon, then I'll definitely link them below for you. Um, the next thing that I had in here, y'all, is something that I am absolutely loving. And I really need to get a big bottle because this stuff is so, so good. This is the Heavenly Dream Angel by Victoria's Secret. And as you all can see, I'm like over halfway done with this little bottle here. It is just so good. Such a great spring summer scent in my opinion. And then the next thing that I had in here is my Lysol. Can't go anywhere without this stuff. This is something else that I cannot go anywhere without, and that is my tight to go pen. All right, so let's go with my lippy of the day. So basically, y'all, my lippies I have on, I'll show you my lips close up here. Oh, I just love it. I love it. So y'all know I love me a good burgundy lip. So on the outer part of my lip, I have on Deeper Danger by MAC. Absolutely love this shade. So it's very, very pretty. And then my inner part, I just put on this Pure by Barbie in the shade Innovator. And it's a very pretty color too. So I really love these two shades together. And they're very moisturizing, if I if I might add. They're very, very moisturizing. All right, so then the next thing that I had in the bag, y'all, is one of my favorite, favorite SLGs right now from the brand Duty and Burke. And it is the coin purse in this hydrangea print. Y'all, I just cannot get enough of the hydrangea print. Like, this is so, so good. And y'all, I keep telling myself that if Dooney and Burke comes back out with a hydrangea bag with this cream background, I am going to pick it up. And that I am, y'all. Like, if they do, then I will definitely be grabbing a bag. But yeah, this is what I'm using to hold my keys. And as y'all can see, it complements the bag very, very well. That's why I love this because I've noticed that I've been able to carry this little coin purse in so many different bags in my collection. So again, it is just housing my keys. Love it. And then for my wallet, y'all, I am actually using this here that I actually got with the bag. Let me take my cards out so that I can show you. Yeah, when my husband picked this bag up for me, I told him that I definitely needed a matching wallet. <laughs> and uh, uh, after looking at me sideways, he did get it for me. <laughs> so here it is, y'all, the wallet to go with the bag. Very, very gorgeous. And so I really, really love this wallet, y'all, because it is so slim and compact and it holds a good amount of items. So it does come with five card slots here in the front. Minimum branding, as you can see, as my, says Michael Kors there, as well as on the zipper pull. And then there is a little zipper pocket here. And I'm just using this to house cash here. And I was actually able to just fold the cash up once and then 
slip it in there with no issue. So I really, really like this, y'all. It is so, so nice. It does come with a bat slip pocket as well that I did not utilize. But if I wanted to like put receipts in there, I could. If I needed to carry more cards, I could slip those right in the back there with no issue. So yeah, this is what I am using to, um, or using as a wallet. And the name of this here, let me see if I have the tag here for you guys, in case you're interested. It is the medium travel card case. So here is the tag. Again, if you are interested in picking that up. And then that is pretty much everything, y'all, that I had in the main compartment. Again, like I said earlier, this bag does come with a slip pocket too. So in the slip pocket, I just had my little Pandora pouch that is holding my backup earrings. And then I also had a panty liner. So that's everything that was in the bag here. And then I do have the tag to the bag also. So here is that. There we go. And yeah, y'all, Um, overall, again, like I said, I really enjoy carrying this bag. I highly, highly, highly recommend it. I actually do want to pick up another one. I'm really considering getting it in the vanilla signature just because I just love that print. So yes, I think I might just do that. And I think y'all that this bag would actually even make for a great gift too. Like if you have a child going off to college, one starting high school and just looking into getting their first designer bag um, or just to get a stylish bag, then I highly recommend this. And for $69, you just really can't beat it. So um, that is that y'all. That completes this video. I do hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, then certainly give it a thumbs up, and I will see you in the next one.